Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Linear Algebra Tutor. Here we're going to tie it all together. I've hinted over and over again that the concept or the way that I taught you to find determinant of three by three matrices by just going through that first row and, and doing it that way and the cross product of the vectors, I told you that was a subset of a broader thing. And here I'm going to tie all that together for you. In the last section, we have done the cofactors of the matrix. That's really 90% of the work uh, that's required in order to understand how to find the determinant. The bottom line is, I'll state it over again, is that um, in the previous time when I was telling you how to calculate it, I was having you go through the first row, and then you were multiplying, and you had the submatrices and all of that. So I said that we were expanding that determinant about the first row. It turns out that you can find the determinant by expanding through the first row, or through the second row, or through the third row. In fact, you can also go through the columns. You can find the determinant by expanding through the columns. It doesn't matter what row or column you choose. You're always going to get the same answer. For a given matrix, there's only one determinant. There's, there's no way that you can have different determinants. If you, if you accidentally calculate a determinant with a different value, then you've done something majorly, majorly, majorly wrong, like a computational error or something. Because any matrix should always have the same determinant as an answer. So, because you can expand through any row or any column for any matrix and you're always going to get the same answer, what I do is I just always expand through the first row and that's the way I remember to do it when I'm taking a physics course or solving an engineering problem or whatever. But in this class, your professor is probably going to ask you, find the determinant by expanding through the fourth row or find the determinant by expanding through the second column. So you need to know how to do that. So let's write that down. You should by this time know how to calculate the cofactors. We've didn't done that before. So let's say we're going to expand, it's what is usually called expand the determinant about the ith row, about the ith row, or through the ith row, however you want to write that. And I shudder to write this down because it's not terribly clear, but part of, part of the challenge of linear algebra is for a student to chop through uh, how the book is written and, and read the symbols and understand what it's trying to tell you. So, I'm telling you in layman's terms, you're just going and cutting through different rows and columns, but you need to know how to read it. So I'm going to write it down how you might see it in a book. The determinant of some matrix A is typically expanding about the ith row would look something like this. A I1 times the cofactor I1 plus A I2 times cofactor I2 plus da 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 da. So I3 uh, cofactor I3 and so on. Now this, if I showed you in a book, most students probably wouldn't understand what that meant at first glance until you really studied it. All this statement is telling you is that you can find the determinant by expanding about any ith row you want, either row number one, row number two, row number three, if you have a really large matrix, row number five, or whatever. 